All right, guys. Um, doing something a bit different tonight. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for you. Um, not done anything like this before. Um, I was given a care package from the really cool guys at Full In Mill. And you're going to be like, hmm, why has Danny got uh, shop-bought flies? Obviously, I, I, and you all know I tie flies. But for me, how I started in this game, specifically pike fly fishing, was I approached the guys at Fuller Mill through knowing them through the trade shows and working in the trade. And they were the first kind of people that helped me um, when I decided I wanted to start pike fly fishing, predator fly fishing. I didn't tie at that time. And uh, Roly and the gang there set me up and gave me some samples and and enabled me to progress. They gave me a starting block to go off and I caught some nice fish straight away. Um, kind of completely changed that role around now. This is a fair few years down the line and I am now this year going to seriously take up a particular style of uh, fly fishing this season which starts in a few weeks time and you're going to see what that is now. So um, let's get started shall we? So, I have opened it, but I haven't really looked. Um, I was quite impressed with the packaging, so I thought I'd talk about that first. So, it came in um, this really nice sealed box. Full of mirror on it. And then inside, really well presented. There's a little foam strip with some sculpting patterns on. And then these little click seal bags. And in these click seal bags were the, the, the flies I requested. Um, and I just thought, you know what? That's a really cool touch. And actually, I really like that. That could have been a load of these loose packets chucked in a jiffy bag. Um, it wasn't then. It was a real nice presentation. And it's the small things. Um, and I, I like that. It made me smirk since I opened it. So um, I haven't looked in this yet. Should we have a quicker... Butchers and see what we got in here then. So let's start. Got some sculpins at the top. How cool is that? And that's surely going to slay. Just like rabbits on cur sculpin. Nice little sculpin head on there. That'll look ace when it's wet. So we've got like a natural rabbit colour. I also got like the green bar as well. You just know that's going to slay. Not only the trout, because obviously this is what I've gotten for is the the trout when the trout season sets up on the local rivers here. But I mean, the perch and nail that as well. I just think that's a very really nice. Nice looking fly. Nice. Now, we've got these click seal bags. So let's see what we've got in here, shall we? Right. So we've got sealed bags. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So the first one, let's put these down. So the first one, we've got is a Cheech Leech in black, size one. Let's have a look, shall we? This is an articulated fly. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh. oh, you just know that it's gonna get eaten alive. Um, there's dumbbell eyes. Hopefully you can see that one. Right. Like a, it's articulated, two hooks, some beads, some little rubber silly legs, like a polar reflector flash type of Chanel, more fibres. Black, I mean, everything's going to eat that. That's really nice. Um, I've got two of those. Um, right, these are just going through random what's in front of me. So, and what we've got here is 
Arctic Trout slider in gold, size one again. Um, articulated, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. So it's got a deer hair head, bit dubbing underneath. Um, got some gold flash, white marabou, more gold flash, and marabou. Again, two hooks, some beads, a really nice deer hair head. And that'll look sick in the water. Nice dumbbell eyes. I like that. And again, two of those. We have another one. The articulated trout slider in copper. Let's have a look. That's lovely. Again, articulated, flash, marabou, nice dumbbell eyes, and that deer hair on the head. I mean, if the trout don't eat that, I know full well the perch will. That's really nice. That's cool, I like that. Oh. So, next up, uh, this is a belly scratcher uh, in a, a mini bluegill in a size one. Now, belly scratchers are actually something that I've tied a bit of my own. Um, a bit bigger than these, though. But that. Is like a little bluegill pattern. How cool is that? It's got the the weighted beads underneath, which obviously makes it hook ride hook point up. Some strip tail again, some like Chanel, a dubbing head, little glued eyes, no dumbbell this time. Of it being a it, it's a belly weight. That's a belly scratcher. I think that's really cool. Again, the trout are going to slam that on my local river, but also, I mean, what self respecting perch isn't going to nail that? Uh, I'll have a couple of those. So that's the first little jiffy bag. And then we've got the second one. That we've got in here. Oh, there's loads more in here. Right. So again, really nicely packaged. So let's see what we got here, shall we? So this El Sculpito in tan, size two. I'm excited. Oh, that's cool. So this is a, this is a single hook, with like a dubbing head, dumbbell eyes. Yes. Yep. Yeah, there's silly legs. And Zonka strip. That's a really nice neutral colour. That'll look great in clear water. That's really nice. Look forward to giving that a go. Again, I've got a couple of those. 
There we go. This is another belly scratcher in Shad. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that, that's really cool. Again, like a dubbing head, like some gills marked in, some Chanel, the uh, ball bearings in the belly, Zonk strip, like angel hair in the, in the head, little, little epoxy eyes. You just know that's going to get smashed. It's a really nice size, actually. It's, it's, as I said, I've been tying belly scratches a little bit, but mine are double that size. They're, they're just really nice, you know. If you look at it from a point of view of someone that, that I tie flies myself, and I'm, I, I, I'm not, I'm not looking at these and thinking, oh, shop bought flies. These look kick ass. These, these generally look really nice. I'm actually really impressed with this. So. Um, so another belly scratcher in Shad. Again, two of those. Oh, what's this? This looks a bit naughty. So this is El Scorpito again in olive size two. Gorgeous. Dubbing head, angel hair, some like marker stripes, a bit like a perch, well, like sculpting. Dumbo eyes, silly legs, and a zonka strip. That's just genuinely just a really nice fly. You just know there's going to be some big browns down here in the River X that are going to slam that home. That's going to get hit like it owes someone money. What have we got here? Belly scratcher. Mini chub. Sonka strip, Chanel, belly weights, dubbing head, nice little orange throat on it, grey top, angel hair. I mean, I, 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 these were sent with the intention of, of specifically targeting uh, trout, streamer style, because it's not something I've ever done before. Um... But I'm looking at these and I can't help but think, but also massive perch. The perch will just nail that. It's really nice. Let's put a couple of those. Another belly scratcher. This, ah, this is cool. This is a bit brighter. You tell me, what do you, do you find, you trout streamer guys, do you, do you find the trout go for the bright colours? I mean, I know if you fish some commercials, you'd fish a, a really bright, gaudy fly. The trout jump on it. Yellow Zonka strip, barred, Chanel, yellow belly beads, dubbing head. Oh. That's just going to drive them. That colour there, again, chartreuse. I know I've said it a few times now. Chartreuse for perch. It's going to get messy. If I can't catch a trout on them, I'm going to be catching perch on them, that's for sure. And I've got a couple of those as well. They also sent, which I've heard really, really good things about, Masterclass Fluorocarbon. 
Uh, this is £10, which is to you try out your fluorocarbon, guys. Uh, is it times two? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not. I, I, I say I'm a pike angler, so I, I'm used, just used to. I, I come off fluorocarbon by pounds. I have it in like £40 for between fly line and my wire leader. So that's the masterclass fluorocarbon. And although I've personally not used this, I've heard really, really good things. It comes with a little elastic binder to stop the line from uncoiling. It's got a little hole you can pull off as and what you need. And I believe these click together so you can different sizes and click them together, um, which is a really neat little feature. Last but not least. A really, really nice, looks like fairly waterproof yeah, there's a seal in there, so yeah, uh, a waterproof streamer box, fairly deep. You're not going to squash your flies, nothing worse than having decent flies and sticking them in a pouch or whatnot, and they all squash and deform, and especially if they're still damp, I find it, they tend to then stay, they twist up. That's really nice. One, one clip. That's really nice. Perfect for some stickers. You all know if you put stickers on it, you catch more fish. And what else did they send? Sorry, not the camera. And a baseball cap. And that's it. I thought I'd share that with you. I think that's a cool little package. Um, again, they've looked after me. They, they helped me at the very start of what I do now. If it wasn't for them... Or probably they made it a damn so a lot more easier for me to get into it um and i caught some nice fish on some of their mackerel sparklers and stuff like that so i really like it um i'm gonna use these as soon as the trout season opens up down on the devon rivers i'm gonna be straight out fishing streamers um and like i say the purpose for this is um you all know you can see i tie my own flies um but it, you're starting out you and you nine times out of ten like me you start out, you haven't done this before, you don't tie. And this is proof is in the pudding with this sort of quality this sort of quality where you can get these sort of flies. Straight off the shelf. You can order these online. Most good stockists, big shops can get hold of or do sell full of mill flies already. You can go out, order online or go to the shop, pick them up, and straighten a box and fish. You know, it's a lot of a lot of um time that you don't have to spend behind the vice and they look great what i will do is i will do a follow-up video and once i fish them and we'll see how we get on um i'm quietly confident i think they look absolutely class and uh can't thank the guys at fuller mill enough for sorting me out with that to get me started and uh i very much look forward to using them so there you go quick little 20 minute unboxing video a bit different um, hope you enjoyed it. Get to see some of the new new style streamers. It's very new to me, and I'm I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. Well, anyway, um, probably bored of listening to me now, so I'll let you go. See you again. Cheers.